Good evening, everybody. Um, Alison, I don't know if, if you wanted to start or, or shall I just jump in? Um, first off, it's de I'm delighted to be back. We came and saw you um, probably 18 months ago with when we first were looking at this exciting project. Um, for those that um, were there, I apologize if I'm repeating some of the things we talked about before, uh, but for those who are unaware of what the project is, um, uh, at the, the Trust, um, they have very dilapidated resource centre. Um, you might ask, what is a resource centre? It's basically for um, the, the patients and staff on the site uh, to um, use for activities, whether it be painting, dance, music, um, therapy sessions. Um, and to say they're in a moment, single storey um, facility built in the 60s, rather cold, um, rather old, leak quite a bit and not really fit for purpose. Um, and so uh, we were asked um, two, two and a half years ago, maybe even a bit longer now, to look at how could we uh, re-energize the resource centre but turn it into the front door of the site because part of the, uh, uh, the performance uh, activities is actually to provide a performance space. Um, and so this is where um, members of the public can come to uh, see patients um, delivering their art in whatever form that might be. And so the trusts were keen to have a sort of signatory building, um, but like many um, trusts, uh, we were asked to look at this from a, an economical point of view. Um, Alison, who uh, is a fairly resourceful um, lady, and I know her well, so I apologise, Alison, as you smile at me. She yeah, gave I'm, me a... I'm sorry, I got kicked out of the meeting just then, so I had to come back in, James. So I'm sorry, I was going to introduce etc. and you've launched into it, but I'll uh, let you carry on and then okay. I'll... <laughs> yeah. Um, well, fantastic. Um, Alison always likes a, a challenge or two for us, and so she said, um, oh, there's a there's a, a resource facility over at Patworth. Now, Patworth obviously has moved across to the Addenbrooke site. Um, she said, look, there's quite a good building, I think, which could be repurposed. Um, would you go and have a look and see if we can literally pick it up, bring it across to the site and turn it into new facilities for us? Uh, and so we went and had a look, and um, it is actually a very good uh, solid building um, which we have dissembled and is currently sitting on Alconbury um, airfield uh, waiting to come across to be uh, delivered for our new resource centre. So the image you can see on the screen is um, the front door uh, of the new trust. Um, lots of interesting discussions with the uh, planning colleagues around what the building should look like, its height, uh, its feel, uh, the components within it, um, its presence on the site, uh, because a lot of people who know the site, there's lots of single story buildings. So this acts as quite a, a beacon. That said, we're building in a greenfield site as well. So there's quite a lot of additional requirements that we need to look at. So we've had um, extensive discussions uh, with officers uh, and have looked at different solutions. And to say, this is the, the proposal which has been put forward to planning uh, and we're hoping this month to have received consent so we can then actually start to deliver the services. Um, I've got a few words on the slides as well, really just outside of this meeting, if people want to just understand what we're sort of trying to get across here, um, don't necessarily have to dip back into the recording of the presentation today. Uh, so say this is the front door, if we can perhaps move on to the second slide. Thank you very much. Um, so what we're showing here actually is um, the, I don't know, am I able to put a pointer on the screen at all. I don't know if that's possible with Zoom. So I should have asked this before, but perhaps not. Never mind. Um, in the middle of this drawing, you can see the light grey building, two storeys, is the original modular building that um, we have repurposed. So we've tried to keep as much of the inside, thank you, that's great, as much as the inside um, as it is. So things like the stairs, the loos, the lifts, uh, majority of the partitions we've retained as they are. Um, and then what we've done on the left hand side where you can sort of see the, the green glass bit, thank you, just there, is created a lobby performance space. So that's really like the, the, the front door entrance. So you walk into this double height space, there's going to be a cafe there, there's the facilities for um, movies, there's facilities for dance, there's facilities for um, exhibitions. 
um, as well as the sort of the front door. So this is the sort of meet and greet and the new face of the trust. Uh, the top left hand corner uh, behind the big uh, sliding doors is a leisure area which we're looking at putting in um, basketball, hoop, um, table tennis, um, billiards, uh, to provide that sort of uh, interactive area uh, and then um, what we've done is we've overclad the whole building so what we've shown with this drawing is pulled off uh, the outer faces of the building thank you yes um, and so these are all going to be timber clad components so we're taking a relatively simple um, building and actually giving it its own identity uh, and say the, the fashionable term is repurposing it so that say for this new front door um, if we flip on to the next slide, thank you. Um, so where is this going to sit on the site? Um, the orange block is the is the plan. So what we're looking at is, is a site plan. Thank you, yes. So this is the proposed new site. And at the bottom left of the corner of the drawing, by the north side, is where um, everybody comes onto the site. So that's it, perfect. So you can see the building as you come onto the site and the road brings you round and draws you through to the new um, resource center. We've got existing car parking uh, just to the left and, and the gray sort of T-shaped building is the current trust headquarters. It's Elizabeth House, that one there, thank you. Um, so the idea is we can utilize the existing car parking and then walk straight towards uh, the new entrance of the resource center, the sort of the corner point. Um, and so people can see the front door, it's easy wayfinding. Um, it's a big complicated site, but the intention is that people will then arrive at the meet and greets, the focal point from which they can be directed to where they need to go uh, on the rest of the site. In terms of the buildings which uh, we're replacing, it's at the top right, um, just that's the one there, thank you very much. Uh, the intention is that will then, in the forms of time, be just, um, demolished uh, and other facilities possibly built there in the future. Uh, so that locates us where we are in terms of what's happening inside if we can perhaps flip to the next side and um, we've got um, two floors and so what we've done actually is turn the, the drawing around here through 90 degrees um, so north is now to the left of the site thank you um, and so you can see with the entrance that's the little green triangle and so that will say bring in through the front doors that's the double height space um, to the left, you can just see the billiards and the snooker uh, and that little grey circle on the back wall is the uh, basketball hoop. You can see the half court we've got there. Um, coming back out of that leisure space, we've then got four tables for the cafe and then we've just laid out a sort of um, layout for cinema projection. But as I say, the intention is that we will also have um, exhibition stands and the ability to drop a bit like um, in a theatre um, fly tower, uh, boards from above, which we can then pin um, artwork and exhibitions onto. Uh, immediately to the left of our marker hand, a little kitchenette, so Costa Coffee type space. Uh, and then to the right, if you could just kind of move your cursor a bit to the right, just uh, an up a little, thank you. Yes, perfect. That's the main reception point. Um, so as you come into the main foyer performance space, you can see and people can see you arriving. And then once you've been redirected, where you just kind of show that gray corridor takes you through to the rear of the site uh, and then through to the main uh, wall blocks beyond. Um, just to the left, uh, you can see we then have the loos and the lifts taking you upstairs. And we also have that um, orange room with the chairs laid out in a circular room is the quiet point, which is contemplation um, and uh, religious uh, ceremonies occur there. Uh, on the right hand side is the pharmacy, um, which is a regional pharmacy. So, um, so keep going to the right, thank you. Yes, all of that is the pharmacy zone um, where obviously uh, drugs are distributed, not just across the site, but across the patch. Uh, and so um, that's a core component, but needs to be quite secure. And so there's various regulations that we need to, to adhere to. If we then James, uh, could I just interrupt a second, please? So please will you do. just keep an eye on the time, please? So Sorry. We can ensure plenty of time for questions and for the other side. So Happy. we're thinking of drawing to a close. Please. Certainly. Perfect. Uh, I could talk about this all day, so my apologies. Um, let's pop up one floor and I'll quickly wrap up because I appreciate Alison actually 
companies to say something too. So up here we have the activity spaces. They're on the first floor just so that people don't feel that others are necessarily watching them. Uh, the area that the hand's currently on is the double height space. And then if we go to the top left, we've got uh, art uh, just in there. Immediately to the right, we've then got the loos and the lifts. Uh, and then you can see uh, the uh, staff room is the next orange area. To the right of that then is the uh, gym uh, with exercise, bikes and so forth. Uh, just below that we then have uh, quiet spaces uh, and then the other orange area is the music. That's probably a good point for me to stop at. Alison, I've probably still yeah. in all your thunder, my apologies. That's but no, no, it was my fault. My signal dropped out, I think, so apologies for that. Um, so I, I'm Alison Manton, so I work for the Trust and I've the pleasure of working with James on this project. I, I won't say an awful lot, but just to say that this has been going on for us for quite a long time, this project now, in terms of the work with the planning authority. And it's been, been really quite complicated because the site is green belt and a conservation area. So we've worked really hard with the planning authority and all the associated um, conservation advisors, etc., on the site. So I hope we're now very close to getting planning permission. The important thing for us for this building is something it's the attempt to try and bring things together on the site because it's quite a disparate site with different ward blocks around. There is really nowhere for staff to go and get a cup of coffee away from a ward or um, have a break away from the ward or, or do so, or, you know, use a gym facility, etc. It's not, it, it's one of the few hospitals that I know that doesn't have any kind of staff catering canteen area. So um, I just, just really hopeful that this will. Um, help gel the site together and it also provide really important therapeutic spaces for our patients as well so for example the gym will be used for our patients and for our staff i don't think i need to say an awful lot more conscious of time but very happy to take questions from from anyone thank you alison thank you james and um, so let's go to questions now please um yes i have a question here um could you um, Louise, have you? Do I have a question? Chair, there are no questions in the Q&A okay. regarding this site. Thank you. Um, are there any questions in the Q&A? No, Chair, there's no questions in the Q&A at this time. Okay, thank you. Um, so if there are no questions then, I'll just leave it a few seconds. Um, I'll thank James and Alison for Sorry. the presentation. Chair, apologies. Um, uh, there are now a couple of questions in the Q&A. Would you like me to, to read yes, them out? Please. Yes, please, Chris. So the first question uh, from Louise Downham is, is this fully accessible for all users? Uh, and we'll just uh, take the second question as well whilst we're here, which is from uh, Ruth uh, Ivamy Cook. Uh, which says James mentioned that the building this is replacing would be demolished is there any way that it can be repurposed instead uh, I was just reading yesterday about the significant environmental and energy benefits of repurposing buildings those are the two questions so would you like me to answer those you can do James yeah, yeah. Um, simple yeah. yes this is a fully accessible for all users absolutely um, and then with regard to um, uh, repurposing the existing building. Uh, in many ways that would be fantastic, but uh, dare I say if it almost had a big hard shove in one corner it might all just fall down. Um, in terms of its um, uh, thermal qualities and structural qualities, it was a modular building probably in the 50s, maybe 60s, uh, and is probably past its sell-by date. Um, but what we are doing is we are repurposing um, I say the building, the modular building from um, Patworth. So in a way, what you're asking here, we're doing with a building from Patworth coming across. Uh, and I have to say, um, it's great that we're able to do that. Uh, it would be great if we could do it for the original building, but I say it's past its sell by date. Does that answer your question, Ruth? Thank, thank you for those answers. Back to you, Chair. Thank you. Have we dealt with the questions now, all the questions now? I believe we have. Yes, we have. Yes. Thank you, James, and thank you, Alison, for your presentation.